They think they created that stuff to destroy us. Shoot, they doing, they trying to do that now. That's why Planned Parenthood is in our neighborhood. Right. That's why a plasma blood spot is right across the street. Free they got this in white folk neighborhood. Right. They trying to kill us now. Same thing they did under Pharaoh in Egypt. Right. And yet still, look, that's where we get the turn. We don't die, we multiply. We done had some crazy stuff come up here today. Plenty of doctrines. People say they saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Too much Christianity for me today. So, brother, I know we was talking earlier. You had mentioned as to why we read a lot of Old Testament scriptures, right? But why a lot? But you just heard a lot of stuff come out of the New Testament, right? right. So, but let's get Matthews, Matthew 5 and uh, 5. What was it 4 and 4? Four? Four. Yeah, four. 4 and 4. That's what I want. Let's get that real quick for the brother. Bring it read it. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Bring it out. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, uh -huh. but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. It said every word. Every word. So the, the Old Testament ain't bigger than the New Testament. So we're going to read a lot of scriptures out of there. But the New Testament is just a repeat of the Old Testament. Right. Right. That's it. That is it. So, just to prove it to you, give me Revelations 1.15. Hey, my brother right here in the middle. My brother right here in the blue. What color is God? What do he look like? What Christ look like? What color is Jesus? My brother walking up in the back. What Jesus look like? Huh? Black. How you know? You don't know. Come here. We're going to prove it to you. Now watch. We're going to read it in two different places. Revelations say. Revelations where else? Let's get those. Since you know in Revelation, give me the one in Daniel in the Old Testament. Now. Bring it out. Revelation speaks on him being black, uh -huh. like cold, like he's burnt in the furnace. Right. Eyes was red. Because he drank wine. Because he drank wine. But right. He does speak on that two times in the Bible. Now watch. Now, we, now you know that in the New Testament, so we're going to prove it to the brothers behind you, but we're going to read it in the Old Testament. The New Testament only repeats the Old Testament. Right. Read that for me. Daniel chapter 10 verse 5. Bring it out. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, Read. whose loins were girded with fine gold of euphaz. So this so it said he got on clothes. Read on. His body also was like the barrel. So he had on a green garment. Barrel is green. He had on a green garment. Just like that way over there. Green. Read. And his face. As the appearance of lightning. He had a serious face. He, read. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Because remember in Revelation said his eyes was red like fire. His eyes as lamps of fire. Red because Christ was going to come and drink wine. Read. And his arms and his feet. So now in Daniel it mentioned his arms and feet. In Revelation it only say feet. Read. Like in color. To polish brass. That's burnt brass. Polished brass, in order for you to polish it, you got to burn it. That's right. So now you're still hearing the same thing in the Old Testament. So we read the whole Bible, not just the New Testament, like the brother that just came up in the car and things like that. That brother didn't know nothing. Dude right. come up saying nonsense. Right. Absolute nonsense. Because he's talking about we can't judge people and things like that. Where is that at in the Bible? Do you believe that you go to church at all, sir? What's your name, bro? Roosevelt? Yeah. Okay. Roosevelt. So, what's your name, bro? 
David, Roosevelt and David, and what's your name? I ain't get your name. Russ. Russ. So Russ, David, Roosevelt. So we are going into the scriptures, going over the different things that you see on the ground. If I ask you what's your race, what's your race? What's your nationality? What do you call yourself? Black? African American. What'd you say, David? That's what I got to answer on the government phone. Say what now? Yeah, that's what you answer on your government form. But what do you say it is then? Even though that's what you got to put to get a job and stuff like that, we understand that. But what would you say it is if since I'm asking you, ain't no piece of paper, no one's forcing you to say nothing. What's your race? African American. African American. Okay, so you are calling a whole ton of names. My brother right here, what's your nationality? Jamaican. All right. <laughs> now listen, come here. Y'all need to hear this. Y'all need to see this. Y'all need to see this. Because for you to say you're Jamaican or West Indian is what that really is, right? That would be from the tribe of Benjamin. That's who y'all are. Now watch this. Give me that in Romans. Yep, Romans 11 and 1. Let's find out who in the Bible is from the tribe of Benjamin. Because I'm looking at a so-called black man. He's from the tribe of Benjamin. But people say white people wrote the Bible. Read this. Romans chapter 11 of verse 1. Yeah. Hey, you said why they say that? I don't say oh, but that's what that's what's being taught out here in society. That's why our people won't read the Bible. Read. I say then, have God cast away his people? It's, Paul is asking, have God cast away his people? Have, did he put away his chosen people, the Israelites? Read. God forbid. No, he did not. Read on. But I also am an Israelite of the Oh, oh, oh. he said he's a what? I'm also an Israelite. Read on. Of the seed of Abraham, uh -huh. of the tribe of Benjamin. That's your forefather. Right. Paul, who wrote the New Testament, all the Galatians, the Corinthians, the Colossians, Hebrews, all, half of Acts. That same person that wrote that, that's who he descends from. That's his same tribe right there behind y'all. So if we're looking at a so-called black man, what you think Paul looked like? What do you think he look like? Black. That's what it is. But they teach us these different things. So, no, we good. They all understand it. They understand it. Do you got any questions, bro? About anything. You go to church. We want you to tell us. You got any questions? You got any questions about the Bible? Anything like that? So now we're going to prove we're going to prove you're an Israelite because you said you're Jamaican. So let's prove that they're Israelites. Deuteronomy 28. Real quick. And if y'all want to come get me, more than welcome. I read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses gave this to the Israelites when they came out of Egypt. Everybody know the story about Moses leading them across the Red Sea, right? We all know that story. But what happened when they got on the other side for on Mount Sinai, they got the commandments. If they don't keep the commandments, all these curses are going to come up on them and overtake them. Go to 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What status was the Israelites in Egypt? Were we the rulers in Egypt or was we the slaves? The Israelites, were they the rulers or slaves in Egypt? My brother right here. Were the Israelites, when they was under Pharaoh, when Moses said, let my people go, were the Israelites slaves or were they the rulers? They were slaves. So they the ones that built up the pyramids then. Right. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So how would the Israelites go into slavery again this time? With what? Bring it out. What did the Bible say they was going to be on? I know he knows. What did, what did the Bible just say? Ships. You, you, that's all you're doing is telling me what the Bible. We just read it. So they're going to go into slavery again, but this time with ships. Who did that happen to? That happened to us. That ain't happened to nobody else. You can't say it. You don't know what Chinese dude that that happened to. You don't know no uh, 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 Arab that that happened to. You don't know no white dude that that happened to. Right. But that happened to us, though. Read on. When we got off the slave ship, what happened? Uh, uh, what happened? Roosevelt, when we got off the slave ship, what happened? Shalom, bro. What happened when we got off the slave ship here in South Carolina? What did they do with us? 
They sold us. Watch this right here. Read on. By the way, well, I speak unto thee. It's going to happen exactly how Moses said. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. As a race of people, we would not go back to our homeland, Jerusalem. That's where we from. That's, that's where we from. Where the Garden of Eden is, that's where we from. Read. And there, ye, and there, when you get off the slave ship, read on. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Ain't that what you said happened to us? What's our history now was already put in the Bible thousands of years before it ever happened, bro. It was already there because God said his chosen people would go into slavery on slave ships because we sinned. We did not keep the commandments. We want to sleep with this woman, that woman, this woman, have children, don't take care of them. Our sisters want to lay down Look, with women and men. All kinds of madness going on and then we wonder why did slavery happen to us. We follow Christmas. You do Christmas. You young. You do Christmas. You do something like that. You do Christmas. My man's right here in the car at the Cadillac. You do. You celebrate Christmas, my bro. You celebrate Christmas. You celebrate Christmas. Good. All praise. Any holidays you celebrate? You celebrate your birthday. Okay. So now all these different things. Cause I know my man right here said he do Christmas. You do something. Why you don't do it? I'm gonna tell you why I don't do it. Because at any given day, what I gotta do every day on a different uh -huh. day, no holiday is a day for me because I got kids that gotta go to college. I got money that I gotta spend. So no, you don't get no break in life. Okay, so so you don't do it because of the different necessities that you have. Understood. But we're gonna show you that. Look, I'm glad that you didn't do it. No, I ask, do you? No. We ain't even supposed to do Christmas right. at all as a, right. So now, but we, but I just ask the, the, the masses, the men that's listening, do they celebrate? And we got some that do and some that don't. What's your question? Since they asked me to come over here and talk to you. All praises. Do you believe in God or do you believe in a higher power? I believe, I believe in, in God. Power. I believe in God. I believe in a higher power. What's the higher power? Like, ain't now some bitch come back and tell me whether Jesus dead, white, black, or whatever the case is. Nobody. Nobody. Now, now, what I, we, I believe in. Now, I, now so, I do believe in higher power. So listen, so I think listen. sometimes when I'm running back and forth down that road, yeah, man, somebody's man, over man, you. Man, man. Somebody's man. over. A cloud is over you. A cloud. But I okay. In power. What is the higher power doing? I'm here. Two of my kids in college. You you I'm here? here for it. Give me, give me. Where you <laughs> at? Where you been? No, 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 no. Because he didn't. No, I want Samuel's. Give me that where it says that God kills and God makes alive. Deuteronomy. Okay. 32, 39. Deuteronomy 32. Watch this. Watch, watch. He's a black man. He's black. Who the hell told you that? All praises. I'm glad. We're going to read this and then I'm going to prove it. Watch. They say he white. They said he was white. Hey, look. My brother, my brother, my brother right here, the midget, come closer. I want you to hear what he's saying. Because look, I'm telling you I know. I know you all. I, I know that's what they teach. But they're not reading the book that's sitting on the desk. Because in that same book, no, that it ain't that could. Be, that what's your name? What's your, what's your name? What's your name? My government name? I mean, if you don't have a citizen No, it's cool with me. You ain't got to tell me your name. Now listen to what you said. Let's see what the Bible says about these things. Read that. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Driving down the street, that there is something over him. He's still here today. That's what he said. Watch this. See now that I, even I, am He, uh -huh. and there is no God with me. There is one God. No one else is with him. Is what he's saying. So everybody, what everybody else is worshiping, is all false. Right. All of it is false. We're the only people that got a true God. Read on. I kill 
God kills. So everybody that died, God made that happen. It was their time to go. Because God said so. Read on. And I make a lie. And God makes a lie. So when you ride down the street and you made it, it was the God of the Israelites that allowed you to do that. Not just a higher power that we don't know, but it's okay that you don't know him because the reason why you don't know him is because all the lies you was taught when you was a child where they told you that God looked like this, you didn't believe it. And you're not wrong for but not believing it because it was a lie. But the thing is, is no one ever taught you correctly. No one, right, but, but no one... But no one ever taught them properly after that. After you knew that there was a lie, no one ever gave you the right answer after that. So now you're just like, I know what I was taught was a lie, but I don't know what the truth is now. Right. So now that's what we here to give. That's why we out here. Read on. I wound and I heal. So that's what God does. Is that it? Read on. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my head. Because we was just reading to my man's back here that we went into slavery on slave ships because we didn't keep the commandments right. god said no one's going to deliver you out of his hand right. just like you got children they do stuff wrong you punish them right. we act like we ain't in the image of god or something but we'll quote it but don't know what that mean you a black man standing here god is black and you said how we know let's go to daniel and read it because what kind of you got woolly hair what race of people got woolly hair to you I can't what see, race of people I got woolly hair? I God is black or white. I know, but what race of people got woolly hair? Let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. And I got to go because I got to make a move real quick. Good deal. And then this man out here, I hope you ain't recording me. What you got? This, 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 look here, let me tell you something. I got one question, uh -huh. but I got to slide because I got to make a move. <laughs> okay, ask a question. Ask question. Don't leave, bro. Don't leave. I still want to ask you a know? question. Who I want to deal with you. Die and went to heaven or hell and come back and tell you whether they're real. You don't know nobody, cause ain't no damn body. That's coming. what Christ did. Unless you look at that black That's what Christ on did. <laughs> That's what Christ did. What? He Christ, back and he, he died him. and he rose again. Now you can repent. All of the stuff that we're reading in the Bible, did slavery happen to me and your people? Bring it up. Did it yeah. happen? Did what? slavery happen to me and your people? We know that nigga cool. Was, now let's read in the Bible. The no, wait, 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 wait. The Watch rest this. Of our life, we will always Watch be this. The rest of our life, it doesn't matter. The rest of our so life, you saying we don't have a we don't have man. a chance? It no. We don't have no hope. What the hell? Else we gonna go blow up the whole damn world? No, we don't have to. This is what we gotta do. That's right. This what, is what, what, watch, what watch, watch. Do thirty and one. The only thing we can do is watch. no movement or what you doing right now and try to get everybody to understand. You watch this. Up. What's your name? No, no, no he ain't give me his name. Watch this. Watch this. Give him a flyer. And watch this, bro. Watch what we... Okay, now now listen to the words in the Bible. Because what you're saying, people done took the hope out of our people. That's why we walk up and down the street aimlessly. Right. Because no one's reading this to us out of the book. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1. Yeah. And it shall come to pass. What does it shall come to pass mean? In the future. That's what that means. It's going to happen. Read. When all these things are come upon thee, uh -huh. the blessing and the curse. The blessing and the curse. We're living in the curse now. And what That's the, the, the curse is. What the curse is. This is the curse. This is the curse. This is the curse. What you got to look at, what the curse is, when you deal with a white man with power, and we, we got so far behind, and they got so far ahead. That is a curse. Think about, think That's about. a curse, bro. No way it's supposed to be in That's jail a the rest curse. of his life. You know what Donald Trump said? That's a I curse. Want it out because I know but listen, people, listen, listen. You. you won't listen to the answer when you don't know it. I done gave you the no, you did. No, you didn't money give me the solution. Power. You didn't give it. Money ain't helped us, and we've been having money all these years. Oprah got plenty of it and can't go where she want to go. But you all the ones that's black and know they black can't go where they want to go. Watch, watch, watch. 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 Nick, Nick Cannon actually said he was this white, and now this man got multiple kids all over the place. Watch this. Listen to the solution. I'm reading the solution. It ain't money. Watch what the solution is. Look, our people want to listen to this. Read. Watch this. Watch Which this. I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. And that's what we're doing, calling these things to mind right in our nation's house. Read. Whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. Because we've been driven to all the lands over the world by slavery through slave ships. Read on. And shall return unto the Lord thy now God. Now we're going to repent. We're going to keep the Sabbath. 
We're going to marry the woman that we have sex with. Right. We're going to raise the children. We're not going to let them run around and be in gangs. Right. As men, we're going to take our rightful place and rule the house and community. Right. Not right. just sit back and say, I give up. It say right. we're going right. to repent. Read. And shall obey his voice. We're going to obey what God says. Read on. According to all that I command thee this day. Read on. And thou. Thou and thy children with all thine heart. We're going to teach our children to keep the laws of God too. Read. And with all thy soul. And we're going to do it with everything we got. We're going to die doing what God said. Read on. Right. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. It said then. After us as men do what God said. Then we teach our children then will God turn the captivity. That's now right. all these right. people that we ain't got no power over, we over them now. Right. Right. That's in the Bible. No one ever taught you that. No one read that. That's because you didn't have an answer. You're like, look, all we, this is all we're going to be. We're going to be slaves forever. That's it. One of the prophets asked God that too. Is this all we doing? Are we homeborn slaves? Is that it? And God told him, no. Well, we got to do at a certain at a certain time, we got to keep the commandments. I got a question. What you, now, do you understand what we just read? No, I understand. That. So what? So what's the solution? So what's the solution for us to get out of this? Well, what's the solution for us to get out of this? But what's the solution? I received. Well, can I, I'm gonna finish this scripture and then I'm gonna take your question. Read on. And have compassion upon thee. And God's gonna have compassion on us. He ain't gonna keep on cursing us, leaving us under these people no more when we do what He said. Read. And will return and gather thee from all the nations. And we're going to be gathered together because we've been scattered. He's going to gather us from all these nations. Read. Whether the Lord thy God have scattered thee. Read. If any of thine be driven out. No, go, go down go down to uh, five. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess. And we're going to go back to Jerusalem, which we have not been back. Read on. And thou shalt possess it. Uh huh. And he will do thee good. God is going to do us good. And multiply of thee above thy father. Now read verse 7. Verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. So the way that we used to get beat with, with, with whips, got chains around the necks, we're going to do it to them. Right. All these bombs they got, all them bombs they made was to kill themselves. Right. For you right. and for me. They was created so we can get free. Right. They think they created that stuff to destroy us. Shoot, they doing, They trying to do that now. That's why Planned Parenthood is in our neighborhood. Right. That's why a plasma blood spot is right across the street. Free they got this in white folk neighborhood. Right. They trying to kill us now. Same thing they did under Pharaoh in Egypt. Right. And yet still, look, that's where we get the term. We don't die, we multiply. We still make more babies than them. Right. Right. We still got more than them. Right. Yet still, they trying to kill us off. It was created to kill you. Right. Mind you, now it's starting to kill them. Now they're trying to come out with all kinds of stuff. Now they're starting to say, well, listen, don't get if you do, it's under your own discretion. But before they let all that out, they was forcing us to line up and get the right. you know. Then they started dying. Our people wasn't dying at the rate they was dying. Right. That's what's going on, bro. Read on. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemy. Uh-huh. And on them that hate thee. And all those nations that hate us, God is going to put the same curses we was under on them. Right. Right. We going to be over them. Read. Which persecuted thee. Read on. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord. Uh -huh. And do all his commandments. Uh -huh. Which I command thee to say. That's the answer. Keep the commandment. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.